Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install the Chinese keyboard input on Arch Linux. I am currently learning Chinese, and for me it's very important to have this uh, configured, and Arch Linux doesn't come with it by default, but it's actually quite easy to install. So, to begin with, just type sudo uh, pacman, oh sorry, uh, sytx 5 im This is already a package that comes with uh, all the basic stuff that you need. So just press enter and confirm. Okay, now that we installed this, we actually need to come here and install also this package here. I'm sorry, I'm just using the, uh, you know, the the wiki to help myself here. <laughs> I'm sorry. So it's fctx5 Chinese add-ons. So just install that. Uh, press Y. And if if I'm not mistaken, you also need to install like fctx5 config2. Let me see. I'm, I'm just doing stuff in real time here too. Uh, yes, it, you need to install this one. Okay, now all you need to do is to tell Arch that every time you boot up your computer, you want uh, the fctx5 system, uh, I'm sorry, the service to start too. So we have to come here to the at etc environment and paste this I'm gonna leave all of these links on the description and also just all the commands so it's easier for you so just paste this here press ctrl O press enter and then ctrl X so all you need to do now is to log off uh, log out I'm sorry but before I do that let me just stop the recording so I don't lose this but I'm going to just log off and log in and we'll continue doing this. Okay, now that I logged out and logged in again, now you can see there's a small icon here, which is the input method icon. Uh, you can right click here and go to configure. Right now, actually my keyboard is set to English. It's, it, it wasn't supposed to be this one, maybe it's wrong for you too. But what you need to do is to come here, uh, add an input method. And we're gonna search for pinyin. pinyin. Uh, also, now I see the the Hansi characters uh, font is not installed. I'm gonna search for that too, in a while. But for now, just uh, type pin here, and now we have the pin method installed. So, what I like to do here is to come here to configure global options, and change this trigger input method from control space. We're gonna delete that and we're also gonna delete this one just so it doesn't um, wait and this one too just so it doesn't uh, conflict with the the key here so we're gonna add a hotkey here to uh, per key per, uh, and space so this is more like intuitive I think for like uh, triggering the input method because all the other operating systems use um, the super key and space so now we can configure the pin input here. I like to enable cloud pin because sometimes the the the, the suggestions are much better here. And um, also, I think it's really 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 weird the way they they set up this. So let's delete this up and down. And we're gonna change the next candidate from tab to the down key, like literally the down uh, arrow, and the previous candidate to the up arrow because I think that tab is kind of weird to scroll to from the candidates like the suggestions but you can leave the default settings but i prefer this way and now we can uh, apply this and we can actually configure to the cloud pin um, i'm gonna set the maximum the i'm sorry the minimum pin length to two because it's going to trigger it uh, much faster instead of like having to type four uh, hanses before so the backend is going to be Baidu because I think the suggestions are kind of better, like mainly for names uh, in Baidu is much, much, much better than the Google one. So yeah, if everything was according to plan, it should work now. Let's test it out. So all you need to do is to like, I'm typing, typing, typing. So all you need to do is to just press super space and in theory, yeah. So the thing is that I don't have the Chinese um, font installed. Uh, this is a very very long command so I'm gonna just uh, copy it and put it in the description so you don't have to like type this whole thing. So just press enter, let me type my password here and okay let's install the fonts here. 
So just give it a second to install. Actually, I'm kind of like uh, <laughs> getting kind of lost here because uh, this is the first time that I actually install Arch because I was more used to installing Endeavor OS, but finally I was able to install Arch because Arch install, like the installer was always giving me problems, but now it just decided to work. So, okay guys, so now that I installed all the fonts and FC65 and the Chinese input and everything, the thing should be working. So if we come here to Kate, just to show you, um, you can press super space and it will like show that it's using that. So that's how, oh shit, I typed it wrong, wait. Yeah, it's working, how, 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 need some uh, young. So the cool thing is that because we enabled cloud input, um, if you don't enable that, maybe like you wanna search for some things on Google, like for example, uh, I'm gonna search for the singer Mao Buyi. So if I type here Mao Buyi, the first recommendation is gonna be wrong. And if you can see that the second one is right, which is the singer here. So the thing is that the cloud input knows that you're meaning actually Mao Buyi, like the, the singer, not uh, cat something, something, something. So yeah, guys, um, that was the video. I hope I helped you. I'm sorry for being kind of like um, kind of lost here because this is actually my first time installing Arch because I was more used to using like Arch based distros and those already came with the Chinese font. So I'm, I was trying to improvise here to not make this sound kind of as if I didn't know how to do anything. So but anyways, it worked out. I hope I helped you in any way and see you next time. Bye bye.